gorgeous people this video is about how to do the perfect cut crease for this look I've used the famous Urban Decay Naked palette which has some beautiful colors I would say this is a staple for uh, your makeup kit but then some people might find this expensive it is a little pricey especially in Dubai I think it's a lot cheaper in the US and other places but if you want a knockoff version of this I would recommend the NYX nude on nude palette which has I think more colors but this is also a, a pretty good alternative and very good value for money if you'd like to find out how to achieve the perfect cut crease look then please keep watching I've already applied my foundation from Max Factor's Facefinity and I've mixed the colors Caramel 85 and Golden 75 to get my exact skin tone. For concealer, as always, I've used Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Foundation in the shade 03 Creamy Vanilla. Before using eyeshadow, I'm going to apply Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana on my lower lids just to make sure that I don't have any fallout from my eyeshadow. To get a nice sharp angled eyeshadow, I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape which is about two and a half inches long. First, I'm going to stick it to the back of my hand to reduce the tackiness of the glue so that it doesn't hurt so much when I peel it off my face later. To get the angle right, I'm going to follow my lower lash line and I'm also going to make sure to not take it past my eyebrow. Now this look is all about definition, so I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and trace an outline just below my eyebrows, then blend it using a flat shader brush. Before applying my eyeshadow, I'm going to apply a base and I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked palette and my first color will be Buck which is a matte brown shade and using my MAC 217 blending brush I'm going to create a halo effect on my crease. Next using my Maybelline Colossal Kajal pencil I'm going to draw an outline on my crease or basically I'm going to cut my crease. Now this line does not have to be perfect because we're going to blend it out. Then I'm going to take a pencil top brush and blend out that sharp line. Next, using my Makeup Forever Camouflage Concealer Palette, I'm going to take a flat brush and apply it all over my top lid. Next, I'm going to mix the colors Virgin and Sin from the Naked Palette and using a pencil top brush, apply it on my tear duct and one fourth of my top and bottom inner lids. Next, I'm going to use the shade Half Baked, which is a shimmery gold color and apply it all over my lids. Uh, I'm not going to touch the outer corner much because that's where we're going to apply the dark color. After that, I'm going to go back to the shade Buck and using the same MAC 217 brush, I'm going to blend out that dark black pencil we applied earlier. After blending the top half, I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and using very little product, I'm going to further define that cut crease, uh, that area just above the half-baked shade Next, to define my brow bone, I'm going to use the color Crystal Avalanche from MAC Cosmetics and the Zebra Print Palette is from uh, zpalette.com. Now, taking a flat brow brush, I'm going to take some of that color and apply it on my brow bone. For eye pencil, I'm using uh, Eye Bright by Benefit and I'm going to apply it all over my waterline. Now I'm going to take a pencil top brush because it's time to do the bottom lids and from my Urban Decay palette I'm going to take the color Dark Horse which is a dark brown color with hints of gold and apply it all over my lower lids. And I'm going to take that same color and follow the scotch tape and connect my lower lash line to the cut crease. Before applying my eyeliner, I'm going to take my Maybelline Colossal Kajal Pencil and trace a rough outline on my top lid. I'm going to start from the outer corner and just move about halfway in. For lining my eyes, I'm going to use this gel liner from a brand called Forever 52, which is super creamy. And I'm going to use my bent eyeliner brush to do that. I'm going to do a winged eyeliner following the shape of my scotch tape. Basically, the tip of my wing needs to touch the cut crease black shadow. 
And of course, as you all know, I love defining my inner tear ducts. Uh, now, this step is optional because it might be difficult for some of you, but if you can master it, it really can do wonders to accentuate the shape of your eyes. Now I'm going to remove my scotch tape and as you can see, my eyeliner and eyeshadow are perfectly aligned. Next, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder and apply it on the area where the scotch tape was, just to make sure that it has not left a mark. Make any corrections to your eye makeup if needed. I'm going to apply some of that black eyeliner on my lower lids as well, above that color Dark Horse. Then I'm going to take a pencil top brush and once again blend that black with the dark brown which we applied earlier. And using the same liquid liner, I'm going to create a V shape which is going to connect my eyeliner wing to the cut crease. And once again, blend it out. This look is sharp and blended at the same time, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of uh, sharpening and blending. Let that not confuse you. I think the technique you apply for this is really up to you. But then the end result, it needs to look sharp in certain areas at the same time, nice and smoked out and blended in certain other areas. Then I'm going to take the same two colors, Virgin and Sin, which we use to apply the tear duct and brow bone and apply it over the gold. And then I'm going to take a brush and just make sure that all the colors are neatly and perfectly blended out. And once the eyeliner and eyeshadow is over, I'm going to apply mascara and I'm using Telescopic by L'Oreal. And after applying a lavish coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes, I'm going to stick some false eyelashes to add that extra drama. And finally, I'm going to apply a coat of eyeliner over my false lashes. And I'm going to take a foundation brush and whisk off any powder or excess eyeshadow fallout on my face. Since I've already finished foundation and contouring and powder, I'm gonna do my blush and I'm using the shade 221 Classic Pink from Max Factor's Flawless Perfection Blush. To line my lips, I'm using the pencil Chicory from MAC. For my lips, again, I'm using another MAC product, which is a very pretty color called Brave. For my lip gloss, yes, I'm using another MAC product and this is in the shade Luster Glass Bows. And that finishes the look. And here we go. This is the final look, the perfect cut crease look. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel. I say the same thing in every video of mine right at the end. Follow me on social media and blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching. Um, I really want to know what you guys think about my video. So please write to me about your comments. And if you'd like to watch more tutorials or if you have reference images that you'd like to send to me, I'd love to see those as well. Also, when I was reading the comments of some of my videos, I noticed a lot of you commented on the fact that I apply my blush on the temples well you know I think it's probably because of the lighting that I use that it looks really harsh in front of the camera I do apply a certain amount of blush on my temples which is true but then nobody has ever pointed out to me when I've gone out or in my pictures that you seem to have a lot of blush on your temples I do apply it but then I manage to blend it in perfectly well I don't know probably in my videos because of the lighting and stuff it might look a bit harsh but if you don't like that step then you can always skip it this video is not so much about the colors it's more about the technique of doing the perfect cut crease or the smoky eye whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. I'll speak to you all really soon.